On the 4th of June 2015, I was in this house, which belongs to John Cote. His house, you can see, got burnt as a result of the June 3 disaster. His request was for Goyal to compensate him to at least renovate his house, and that was all he wanted. His son, Solomon, is here with me. He tells me two months after the incident, his father died. Solomon, sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. Now, was your father sick or you think that, what happened to him? Uh, he was actually suffering from uh, lumbar thrombolosis. Uh, at that time, he couldn't even walk well. So I'm sure from the shock of the incident, he passed on uh, two months after. He, he kept telling me that he wanted to be compensated because this is all he's got, this is his property. Did he ever receive anything from Ghana? Uh, not really. Uh, I think his other, um, his cousins also did some follow-ups uh, to get the compensation actualized, but uh, nothing was uh, received. So you didn't receive anything at all? Uh, no. Up till now? Up till now. Okay. Now, were you here on the day of the incident? Yes, I was. Where exactly were you? Uh, I was upstairs. And how, tell us, walk us through your experience. Okay, so um, it was the whole day. It's rained uh, throughout the day and there was flooding all around. But uh, there was this time uh, around the evening, we started smelling fuel. Uh, because we had some two cars in the house, we thought maybe it's from the car side. But the thing grew stronger and uh, me, me per se, I decided to have a little nap. But I heard, in, uh, I heard some screams, got up and there was fire all around. So that is uh, actually what Fire happened. in your house? Yes. And, and what did you do? Uh, there was nothing to do. Uh, the thing was, there's water and there was fire on, on the water. And there was no way of escape. So all we had to do was pray. Um, we were safe and property. But every time you see these reminders in your house because they are still evident for you to see. I've talked about the marks, you see all these smokes and stuff. How do you brace up yourself to keep moving on? It's like it, it, it constantly reminds us of uh, the things that happened. Uh, it's been difficult, but uh, God has been so good. Uh, we were so happy, uh, nothing happened to any individual here. It was just some property that got affected and uh, that has given us some strength. But we hope uh, something could still be done about her. So is there anything that three years on, you, you, even though your father has passed on, the family will decide to do to at least erase these reminders? Uh, we've tried to raise some funds to get the whole house completely renovated, but uh, we've not been able to arrive at such amount, so we are doing it in bits. And are your cousins, your father's cousins, following up on the compensation he demanded for? I think uh, they've stopped going. Uh, Why? What were you told that made you stop? I, I learned, they went to AMA, uh, they wrote some, they, they prepared some documents to get that done, but they weren't getting any good feedback, so they just decided to stop going there. So as a son, um, the property belongs to you as well. Would you resurrect that issue and try to follow up? I don't know how, how good that would uh, end up, but I think we'll also continue trying to, yes. So three years on, what would you say? Do you think that there's been changes? Has something else, some, something been done to avert a similar situation? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Uh, I sometimes see the AMA trying to dredge the Odor River, and I don't think uh, that's the only thing that can be done. We, as individuals ourselves, uh, need to uh, stop uh, littering our environments. I'm sure if we're able to keep our environments clean, uh, it will go a long way to stop uh, this flooding, and lives will be uh, preserved. 